All right, it's great to be back here. So yesterday we were here talking about an interoperability project that we launched next to Stellar and the Hyperledger. Uh, and before we, we get into the subject for today, let me just recap a, a few things that I mentioned yesterday that's very relevant for the context. So the first thing is talking about Cacti, right? So Cacti is the Hyperledger, uh, it's, it's a, actually a graduated project on the Hyperledger community to handle interoperability. It's a framework, so it's made to be extensible, pluggable, uh, it's, 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 it's incredible. But I can be here for one hour just speaking like about Cacti and I don't have like all the time available here. So I'll talk about the key elements that for so that we can get like uh, overall overview about about like Cacti and how it operates, right? So Cacti is, is again made to be extensible. So one key part of this is the way it was designed. It was designed with plugins. So plugins, it's 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 how you can keep extending and 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 then you can choose the plugs that you need to build your use case. The lowest level of plugins are the connectors. So the connectors are uh, is the way you connect to the ledgers. So we need to have a connector for each ledger that you need to connect. So we have these days uh, connect for Air3 Recorder, Hyperledger Bezel, Hyperledger Fabric, Polkadot, and, and a bunch of others. And then the second layer is the application layer. Uh, and a cool thing about Capita is that you can handle the application layer by, by two ways. So you can create a centralized uh, node or service that can handle the whole orchestration. So for example, on this node server, uh, I, I can build the whole use case that I, I need to implement and then it can orchestrate between connector A and connector B. Or with the Cacti, you can do that decentralized as well. So we can have a, a service for each uh, connector. So we can have one service handle the connector A and one service handle the connector B. So the pieces of your use case can be decentralized as well. And then the communication between the service is, is due to a, a relay system, which is also an incredible thing. So it handles like the communication, the messaging, and the signature for, for the transactions. And yesterday we present the Stellar connector for Cacti. So now everyone who needs to or who wants to uh, connect with the Stellar ledger uh, can do that using Cacti. So we can collect Stellar to Hyperledger Bezel, to Air to Recorder, to all the other connections that are available there. Uh, it's again, it's live. It's there on the repository as well, so everyone can take a look. Uh, we are merging to the main uh, to the main branch very soon. It's being reviewed by the community, but you can already take a look at the branch and start using. So it deploys smart contracts, uh, build transactions, and invoke smart contracts on the on the Stellar Soroban ledger. We lost. We launched also an article talking much more about Cacti and about the connector, how to use, how was the experience, and a few user cases on how you can use this this connector. Just so that I can introduce myself as well. So I'm Doug. Uh, I'm a solutions architect and partner at Cheesecake Labs. Uh, Cheesecake is a decade-old Brazilian company that operates with uh, startups and enterprises here in the US. We start with web to development, like mobile development and, and web development 10 years ago. But five years ago, we also start supporting like Web3 uh, or delivering Web3 projects. Uh, we are proud to announce that we are a Stellar integration partner for a couple of years already. And yesterday, uh, we announced that we become a Hyperledger Foundation member, uh, which is something incredible to be part of this community. In terms of networks that we can deliver uh, service is the Stellar network, Hyperledger network, including Bezel, Fabric, and a few others, Ethereum, uh, and Polygon, a few layers too, uh, and Solana. In terms of solutions we have delivered uh, within these networks for clients is it's consulting, right? It's, a bunch of companies doesn't know how to leverage blockchain to deliver the solutions, so at Cheesecake we can help on, on these definitions. Uh, but also lots of asset tokenization, smart contracts, DeFi, and digital wallets. Uh, one project that might be uh, that worth mentioning because might be familiar to some to someone here is that Cheesecake is the company doing the design development for the Monogram non-custodial digital wallet. It will go live on the next uh, couple of months. So. We deliver, we, we develop the connector, we deliver the connector, it's live, and we will keep evolving. Uh, but we want to take one step further, and we create uh, two use cases uh, using the connector that we want to, to present here today, so that you can understand the potential for this connector, right? What you can uh, achieve with this connector. The first use case is we are bridging one asset from the Stellar Sorobo network to the Hyperledger Bezel network. Uh, this one I presented yesterday, so I will go briefly on this one, and then we can talk about like one CBDC. Uh, a potential use case on the next uh, on the next on the next slides. So for this first use case, uh, just for, so that you can understand what we are trying to achieve, so we want to allow one user, so for example Alice, to send funds for her Stellar account to her friend uh, Charles on the Bezu network. In order to achieve that, 
Alice will need to send funds to a bridge service, and this bridge service is being built with Cacti. Uh, and then Cacti will lock the, the funds as escrow, and then generate a unique reference, right? So the, the assets will be locked and no one can, can touch. Uh, at any moment, then Alice can signal, and then those discrowded funds will be sent to the Bezo network, to her wallet on the Bezo network, uh, where we issue a representation of those funds. On, on 101 to the, collator, the, to, to, to the collaterals. Alice then can send the funds, uh, the Bezo tokens, to her friend. And one uh, interesting design for Cacti is that at any given moment, Char can, can move back those funds uh, to, to Alice or to the Stellar network. So going to some more, more details, uh, before the, I'll, have a, I'll have a demo where we show this like, in, in action. But before I do that, let me just try to picture like, the architecture behind all of these. right? So on the lowest level, we have Alice and Charles, right? so the users trying to send funds between each other. On the second layer, we have the application layer. So it relates with the Cacti architecture that I mentioned a few slides ago. Uh, and another very interesting thing is uh, inside of Cacti, I mentioned that we have plugins. right? So it's a way for you to extend cap uh, Cacti uh, capabilities. And they have implemented uh, an SATP uh, plugin called Hermes. So it's a way that you can handle secured asset transfer uh, between networks. It's a very, very, very good plugin. And this is a standard that's being discussed in the community uh, very, very, very hard. So anyway, we can implement the application layer by using this plugin, and then this plugin will implement the protocol. And then we can have gateways handling specifics for each network. So we have one gateway for the Bezo network and one gateway for the Stellar network. Uh, be below the, the, the application network, then we have the connectors, and the connectors are the ones who are sending comments to the ledgers, uh, creating the, the smart contracts and all of that. So here is the application in, in action. So on the on the first on the on the left side we have the Stellar uh, wallets. So we have a list wallets, and we are setting up the funds, right? So we are adding a thousand X tokens for her. Uh, and we're also doing the same to Char, but instead of adding uh, to tokens to him, we are transferring from Alice to Char, and we're only doing that to prove that this is a real asset on, this, on the Stellar network, right? So this is an uh, asset that we really mint. Uh, with that done, then Alice can scroll uh, an amount, in this case 250, uh, and then these funds will, will be locked into the bridge, and this is the Cacti, right? So Cacti is, is, is locking those funds and creating the, the reference number. Uh, and then with that done, Alice can transfer those funds to, to her account on, on the Bezo network. So here is where the bridging is happening, right? So she is moving the 250 uh, from the Stellar network to the Bezo network, and here is uh, the representation on the Bezo network. With that done, then Alice on the Bezo network can transfer the funds uh, to Char. And then with that done, Char will have the funds and can do whatever uh, he wants with that. An interesting thing that I mentioned is that like this is two sides, right? So now that the Char has the fund, he can also be scroll uh, on a portion of those funds. This will be locked uh, on the bridge and then as soon as he wants he can bridge back those funds to the Stellar. When he do that those funds will be burned and those funds will be uh, unlocked from this bridge and it will return to Charles uh, wallet. And then uh, we have the funds uh, bridge between Stellar Soroban and uh, Hyperledger Peso using Cacti. Again, I was briefing on that because I, I, I presented that yesterday already, but this is the one that I really want to present today. So here is a, a user case uh, related to, to, to a CBDC project. So what we are trying to achieve is we want to tokenize a Brazilian bond uh, for cross-network trading using Cacti right, and the Stellar connector. Uh, I, I put this word here, and this is important, Drax. Uh, I don't want to go like very deep on this topic because this is a whole subject, but I'm not sure if m many of you know, but Central Bank of Brazil is issuing a CBDC right now, and it's called uh, Drex, the Drex platform. This is on pilot mode, so it's for a couple of years already, they are evolving this, this platform. So we are hoping this go to production in the next uh, years or so. Uh, and they are using Hyperledger Bezo for the infrastructure behind the scenes. So that's why we are considering Drex on these specific use case. So this is what we are trying to achieve. So we want to tokenize Brazilian bonds from central bank in a public network, right, on the Star network in this case. Uh, we'll go step by step on how we'll be achieving that. But just so that we can see the, the bigger picture for the architecture, this is exactly the same as the previous one. So we have the application layer here. Uh, then we have the connectors. Then we have the ledger. On this application layer, that that. That's why it was important for me to present the, the, the other use case first, because inside of this application layer, there's also the same uh, implementation of the SATP protocol uh, that I mentioned before, right? So this is a whole handle and security way uh, inside of this installer gateway. 
but here the difference is that we are working with decentralized uh, uh, applications. So we have one financial institution on, the, on, on one side handling one part of the, the services, and we have another company handle the, the tokenization piece uh, with another service. So it's different infrastructure, different services, and they are communicating through this relay system on a very secure way. So going step by step, so the first step is uh, inside of the Bezu network, uh, as the central bank has the, the, the CBDC there, the central bank needs, needs to issue the Brazilian bonds, right, uh, in form of digital assets, of course, uh, inside of the, the Hyperledger Bezu. Then the financial institution will buy those bonds directly from the central bank, and we will store those bonds into a, into a, a wallet, a secured wallet. As this is a bond, the financial institution will receive yields from those bonds over time on this wallet, right? So this is the first step. With that done, another an, another thing that we need to do is so the financial institution will need to token we need to first uh, bridge those bonds to the public network, and then those bonds will be will be uh, split into 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 shares, right? Into into different portions on the on public uh, public network, so the the users can then buy those shares. As we bridge the bond to the to the to the public network, we break it down into shares, and then the user can now uh, buy those shares. Uh, as the 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 let me go back here. As this wallet is increasing in value over time because of the yields, this is also happening with the user shares, right? So the user shares are increasing in value over time because the the the, the main wallet is also increasing time over time, increasing value over time. And another good thing about Cacti is that. It, it, we, we don't need to stop there, right? We, we are connected with Stellar, like from Hyperledger Bezu to Stellar, but we can do multi networks. So we can connect Bezu to Stellar, to Polygon, and to a bunch of other networks. So Cacti allows us to, to do that, having a single source and multiple as exits and multiple representations on, on different networks. So again, with the same infrastructure, yeah. imagine that we have Stellar plugged here, we can have Polygon, for example, plug it into the same uh, uh, assets on the, on the Bezu network using the, the Cacti solution. Lots of layers, lots of uh, information, but hope that that picture uh, a picture on how powerful Cacti is. Like it's very again, it it, it 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 has no limit in terms of what you can achieve with Cacti because it's very extensible, it's very pluggable, it's made of pieces. So there are a few things uh, happening on the short term. So the connector will go live to the main branch, right? So everyone can start contributing to that uh, connector as well. We are launching a bunch of articles on how to use and how to implement using the the connector, and we're hosting a webinar in the next couple of weeks. Uh, with the developer who implemented so that we can have a Q&A session if anyone has any questions on how to implement on this. And we're looking for, for a reward use case. Like we want to implement this in production. So anyone uh, who, have a, uh, uh, who has an idea on how can we explore this and deploy this in production, uh, we're open to have this, this conversation. So thanks so much.